Hi, welcome to my channel. At kung bago ka lang dito, ay huwag kalimutang mag-subscribe at pindutin lang ang notification bell para lagi kayong update sa aking mga bagong mag tutorial videos. Today, ang ituturo ko naman sa inyo ay isa sa mga teknik na ginagamit ko sa pag-solve ng quadratic equation by factoring kapag yung leading coefficient natin ay greater than 1. Mas mahirap kasing isolve uh, by factoring kapag yung leading coefficient ay uh, mas malaki sa 1. So, for example, 4x squared plus 11x plus 6 is equal to 0. So, yung leading coefficient natin dito ay 4. So, step 1, palagay lang tayo dito ng dalawang open and close parentheses. Pagkatapos, ilagay natin yung 4x natin dito sa first term ng ating parentheses. Next, drawing tayo ng malaking x. After that, get the product of the leading coefficient and constant. So, 4 times 6 is 24. So, ilagay natin class dito sa ibabaw ng ating x. Okay? Then, kunin naman natin yung numerical coefficient ng ating middle term. So, yung 11, ilalagay naman natin sa ilalim ng x. So, next step, uh, ililista natin yung factors ng 24. Ito po yung mga factors ng 24. 1 times 24, 2 times 12, 3 times 8, and 4 times 6. Pagkatapos natin makuha yung factors ng 24, hanapin natin class yung factor na kapag in natin ay equal naman dun sa ting middle term na 11. So, 1 plus 24 is 25. 2 plus 12 is 14. Then, 3 plus 8 is 11. So, ibig sabihin, yung 3 and 8 ang ilalagay natin sa loob ng ating parenthesis. Okay, so mapapansin natin doon sa ating second factor, pare silang divisible by 4. So, divide natin by 4. Then, ibaba natin class yung 4x plus 3 is equal to 0. Then, 4 divided by 4 is equal to 1 times x is x. And, 8 divided by 4 is 2. So, x plus 2 is equal to 0. Then, solve natin yung value ng x. x is equal to negative 3 over 4. And, x is equal to negative 2. Okay, next. 6x squared plus 11x minus 10 is equal to 0. Okay, so lagay lang ulit tayo ng dalawang open and close parentheses. Then, kunin natin class yung 6x, lagay natin sa first term ng ating factor. Okay, so get the product of 6 and 10 or negative 10. So, negative 10 times 6 is negative 60. Katapos, ilagay natin yung numerical coefficient ng middle term sa ilalim ng x. Okay, so kunin natin yung factors ng 60. So, wag na muna natin class pansinin yung negative sign kasi masyadong hahaba yung mga factors natin. Okay, so ito yung mga factors ng 60. 1 times 60, 2 times 30, 3 times 20, and 4 times 15. Then, hanapin uli natin yung factor na pag in natin is equal to 11. So, kung mapapansin nyo class, pag in natin yung mga factors, wala tayong makukuha 11. So, kailangan palitan natin yung sign ng isang number. So, dun sa 1 and 60, masyadong malayo. 2 and 30, malayo pa rin sa 11. 3 and 20, wala pa rin. So, dun sa 4 and 15, Kung gagawin natin negative yung 4, negative 4 plus 15 is positive 11. So, ibig sabihin yung 4 and 15 yung kukunin natin. Pero, kailangan gawin natin negative yung 
4. So, ilalagay natin sa loob ng parenthesis. So, ayan. Nakuha na natin, class, yung factor ng 6x squared plus 11x minus 10 is equal to 0. So, yung first factor is 6x minus 4. Second factor is 6x plus 15. So, sa first factor natin, divisible parehas by 2. So, kailangan natin silang i-divide by 2. Doon naman sa second factor, divisible parehas by 3. So, divide naman natin sila by 3. Okay, so simplify natin, magiging 3x minus 2 is equal to 0. And then, yung kabila, 2x plus 5 is equal to 0. Then, solve natin yung value ng x. x is equal to 2 over 3. And x is equal to negative 5 over 2. Now, try this on your own. Five x squared minus seventeen x minus twelve is equal to zero. Okay, so ipost nyo lang ulit. Tapos pagkatapos nyo na kayo ng magsagot, iplay nyo lang para makita nyo kung tama yung ginawa nyo. Okay, so pakita na natin yung solution. So, x is equal to negative 3 over 5 and x is equal to 4.